What is going on everybody? My name is Ricky and I know I've made a video in almost a month now but one of my f cousins he got married and since I'm almost the only family I have in Canada everyone came to stay at my house because it's the closest to the wedding and there's about 40 or 30 people and the majority of the people were kids so like little kids, he's a lot younger than me and there was like no quiet so I was not if I, tr I tried to make a video I tried to make a regular commentary and so many people just came into my room like oh, nah, 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 just wanting to do 101 things and so I just gave up and they all left yesterday and that's right as moon came out so that worked out pretty well because I was I wasn't able to play zombies or most PS3 games mainly because a lot of the kids were little and their parents didn't want them to be seeing all this violence and zombies and shit and because I rarely had time to I even touch my PS3, but as I, as I said, this is Moon is out. This is my first actually my first time playing this map. This gameplay footage right here. I'm playing with a, co a buddy of mine, Oaklefish. He's uh, I met him through A goes in one of the and I've met him through LGU because he's also one of the managers. He's a pretty cool guy. He makes really good commentaries. I encourage him you to go check him out. There will be a link in the description and an annotation on the screen right now. And I just want to start off by saying Moon is fucking amazing. Like, I've played Zombies. I've played every zombie map as it's come out since World of War. And I've never seen a map like this. It's big, but not in a bad way like Call of the Dead. Like, it's big, but you need the space you use. Um, this, whoever came up with the idea of zero gravity zombies is a genius. Like, I would go up to them. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But... Like some of the, I know Triarch, they hire some pretty sick fucks because if you look at some of the stuff zombie c they come up with, it's you gotta be pretty d disturbed to come up with half the shit or creative if you wanna put it that way. But they actually did, did a really good job with this because Shangri La, Shangri La was alright, you know, it was a fun map, but it wasn't, it wasn't as good as some of the other zombie maps. But this map, I don't even know where to start. So, I'm just gonna go, I guess, say this as it begins. First off, the guy, um, if you notice, if you never play this map, I will try my best to explain to you what's going on. So this guy that I, I'm not sure how, how to think this is going to be, but the guy that just hit me or is about to hit me, the spacesuit guy, he is the equivalent of a George Romero, except in the fact that he's not as strong and he's not as much of a bitch. He walks slower than George Romero and he's really easy to kill. Like you can kill him with a, with a Colt enough rounds. And when you shoot him, he doesn't start running like a angry black woman all mad at you because you shot him. Like, he just walks slow, like, slower than you do. Like, he just takes his time. But then when he hits you, it's kind of gay. If you have perks, you will lose a perk. I'm not, I'm not sure. I've, he's only hit me while I've had one perk, so, and I lost Juggernaut, and I didn't know. And then someone said, oh, you lost Juggernaut. I was like, what the fuck, and I died right away. And then if you don't have perks and you've opened doors, he will teleport you to a random side of the map. And if you do have a perk, he still de teleports you to a random side of the map. But if and no doors are open, like, at the beginning, he just hits you, and you go flying back, and... You lose a lot of uh, health. But in this gameplay, I'm just going to throw this out there. I do not get around to buying any guns. I die at round 5, mainly because this is my first time, and I was like a fish out of water. I had no idea what was going. All I was doing is jumping and knifing and having a good time. Because even though, like, some people get really intense with zombies. They go all try hard. But I, when I play zombies, I have fun. Like, the funnest parts for me is when I have no idea what the hell's happening. See, when, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, when you kill him, he explodes into this, um, the astronaut guy, he explodes into this, like, uh, I don't know how to do it, but it pushes you back and up into the air, and sometimes I can put you on to, like, really high up, higher than when you can jump, and I was wondering, maybe that might be used in a potential glitch to launch you on top of a area where the zombies can't get you, so I, that's something I noticed, and I was trying to do it, but every time I did it, it didn't work out because he just grabbed me and threw me somewhere, teleported me and took my perks. But like I was saying before, shit, what was I saying before? This isn't the best kind of zombie gameplay f that's going to come for me. Now I've played this, like, this is my first time playing, but after this I've played like five or six more, not even that much, like three or four more times, but I managed to get to around, I think, 15 or 16, something along those lines. And I kind of, I know more or less the things of the map. I've gotten the dual wield guns, if they're called, and I didn't know until after I lost them that you can put them together to make the... I forget what it's called. I don't know. See, I don't even know what these guns are called here, but when you shoot it, it, like, 
makes them go all bigger. And this, it's, the other one is kind of like the Wonder Waff. If you have the map, you kind of know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then I'm sorry, but I'm very confused as to that, how that works too. But I will try to get footage of uploading, upgrading that gun. Um, upgrading in this map is extremely hard because you have to go back to Earth. It's basically, the way this map starts off is you saw you run Earth, and then the pack a punch there and and juggernaut or sleight of hands. Are, sorry, I just hit my mic. Let me just fix that. And the thing is, there's an endless wave of zombies that will come, and they get stronger. And there's this beeping that goes off. It's kind of like what the nuke sound in Modern Warfare 2. But when that happens, the zombies start getting faster and dogs will come. And to upgrade, it's, you have to go right away, and it's really hard to get two, like two people upgrade at once. Upgrading in one time on Earth. Because the zombies get harder and harder, and they rush you, and then you just get fucked over. So, I haven't even had a chance to upgrade a gun. But I had a chance to go there and buy Juggernaut. So I will try to get some footage. I'm, But the other problem is I have like no one on Xbox who has this map pack. I have a few that I've met through it and then I've added people. But a lot of people I ha who I have on it don't have the map pack. And there's another thing that they added. This new perk called Mule Kick or Donkey Kick or something like that. And this is hands down one of the best perks next to Juggernaut. Because one of the things I loved the most about World of War Zombies is the fact that you could there's every map except for the first one had three gun glitches and that was amazing because in zombies have two guns is just not enough and the thing that I, I hated them the most about the black the classic zombie maps in black ops was that all the three gun glitches got patched because that's one of the that's the most I, I had a lot of fun doing the three gun glitches in Chino Numa Doris and Verukt. I might be saying those names wrong, but whatever. And I think it's a little overpriced, like 4000 You can buy a lot of things for 4000 but what are you going to do? It's an awesome perk, and if you can... Like, the perfect setup for me would be a ray gun with an HK or an RPK, and the new guns, like the dual one or the ones you put together. But I think this game play not, might be coming to an end. Um, I only survived five rounds, which is kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Kind of disgusting. No, pitiful. Shameful, almost. That I only survived five rounds and, and my first... But it's my first time playing. Cut me some slack. I did come in last. I was holding the team back. But towards the end, I was just running around. No idea what was... I only figured out after the stakeout was there. And shotguns are awesome on this map. Mainly because when you shoot the zombies, they go flying back because the zero gravity. But guys, that is all for this video. I hope to have a lot more zombie content and regular content soon. I, my next video will be a video of just a zombie glitch on one of those new zombie maps. Actually, it's not new, but it's a remake. It's a pretty sick glitch, but I don't want to give too much away. That is all for this video. I will now try make videos more often. But guys, like I've said already, that is all for this video. My name is Ricky, and you stay classy, YouTube.